Welcome back to the Neuro Pokemon Cup series. Today we're here at the, Aust the Red Bull Ring in Austria for the running of the Red Bull Blue Edition Austria 300. I decided now for tours, uh, track tours around around the track that we're going to use, of course, our Pichu again. And with our uh, other cameras that we're not using the cockpit cameras because they were been very laggy as of late. And so I decided to just use the old cameras they brought here instead. And hopefully that will reduce the lag while we take a tour around the track. And here's the track at its finest. Uphill and downhill. It's a pretty tough track here at Austria. By the way, they're using the old configuration. And as you see here, turn one is pretty tight because these guys, they're going to go off the grass a lot. They're going to go off the grass a lot in turn one. And that could cause... Big crashes. We always have big crashes at that turn. A lot of S's, by the way, in this track. They're uphill and downhill, so that'll be a tough challenge for these drivers to even stay on course. As you see, Pichu, our tour, our tour guide, Pichu, having a little trouble going through the courses. And, well, yeah, it's pretty. It's a tight, tough course just to turn, but just to stay on the track, it's not easy. As you see, a lot of S's, uphill and downhill ch elevation changes. This will be a tough test for our drivers today. One slip up, you could lose the lead in just one turn. So these guys got to be extremely careful with... They got to stay on the pavement pretty much. So they, to avoid like having incidents at all. One more turn coming up. And then they go uphill again. And then downhill again. A lot of quick elevation changes. And these guys have got to keep that in mind. Down the final turn they could hit the wall. They could just slide the wall like that. If they are not controlled. If they can't control their car as well. As you see here Peachy was trying his best. But he always slips up. And that's a tour around the track. And now let's take you out to the race here at the old Red Bull We're Ring. We're here at the old Red Bull Ring or the Ostrich Ring as you might refer to it. But the layout is pretty close to what the Red Bull Ring is now. It's actually the old configuration of the Aust of the old uh, Ostrich Ring that the Red Bull Ring is now uh, now is located at. Now it, where it is. So anyway, it's 3.67 miles of turns of up uphill and downhill climbs and bumpy straightaways. Really slippery track, too, as you saw, as Pichu slips up a lot in his practice run. And, well, so it's going to be pretty tough for these drivers to stay on f on their feet here at this track. And it, it'll be it'll equal exciting racing coming up here at, Aust at Red Bull Ring in Austria. Here's your pole setter. P1 today for Austria is Trent Dunham in the number one. Daniel Voiles shares row one. Luke Walker and Ian Siegel in row two, Nick Pericles and Angel Navarro in row three, Chloe Baker and Sean Arpel in row four, and Brandon Nichols and Armando Shazaz round out your top ten in the starting lineup. And let's take a look at our winner. Nick, oh yeah, Nick Pericles is fifth, by the way. I mentioned Pericles starts fifth. He was the winner from Velton's Arena our last race after Ferdinand Gabot spun out on the final turn of the last lap of that race. That was an exciting race in the dirt. A very exciting one to see, and we we'll hope to come back there again next season for another dirt race there. That was surely fun uh, to be at Velton's Arena, and it's in the it was in the dirt, but now it's regular road course racing. They're going back to road courses um, here for the World Tour. The next race will be another road course. It'll be in Latvia in Bikernecki, and Bikernecki is a thrill ride, so... We can't wait to get to that. And also after Biker Necky, they'll be going back to, to an oval in uh, Rockingham, UK. That'll wrap up the European portion of World Tour 17. So here we go. Our European tour of World Tour 17 continues. And we're about to take you trackside for the command here at the Red Bull Ring. Drivers, start your engines. You're going to see a lot of drivers like you're going to see all these guys go up and down all the time here at this track and also cars slipping and sliding just because they can't get their cars 
the grip here is really next to impossible to achieve for these drivers. And we're green here in the Red Bull ring. Trent Dunham leads us to the green flag. First uphill challenge coming up for these cars. Oh, wow, Daniel Voiles got loose. A great save. Voiles is up to second. Great move on the 19 Luke Walker. Luke Walker went off the grass for just a second and he lost the position. Here they come, another uphill challenge for these drivers. And Daniel Voiles has the race lead. Off the grass, it's the wall. Pericles leads. See how much things could change in an instant with these turns? My goodness, already some action up and down, up down the hills. Nick Pericles is the leader. Pericles looks to go back to back after winning a thriller at Belton's Arena last race. Luke Walker has recovered to come in second, to right now in second. Boyles is third, and Trent Dunham has dropped down to, I think, sixth. Yep, sixth. Tough drop for Trent Dunham, a tough start for the one machine. But again, this is, well, let's, he could try to make a comeback if he can stay on, on the track. All you need to do is stay on the track to win this race. But that's easier said than done with the grip being terrible at this track. Look at Ian Siegel. Looking to close in on Boyles, and here's a battle for the race lead. Oh no, a driver just spun, and that's gonna bring out the yellow. I just saw smoke. Ooh, Luke Walker, great move on the 16. 16 looks to retaliate, he does. Wow, looked like Luke Walker had a great move there, but lost it. Let's find out who turned it. Oh, caution's out. They already took the yellow. That's why they had to give up the position. Oh, no, I think they're racing it back. Yeah, they're going to race it back. The others are slowing down, but they're going to race it back. Weird. Look back at what happened in caution number one, but they're all single file. They want to play it safe. Guess they all want to play it safe here. Now look at the 31. There's Ian C. Siegel's in third, but the 31 Sean Harple now fourth. Trent Dunham moved to fifth. I think one of the top five drivers might have spun out, brought out the first caution. We'll have to look back at it later. Now they're lining up in single line, except for the top two, which is weird. Hmm. And I saw damage to Jordan Davis and Ferdinand Gabot. And boy, has this been a terrible, terrible weekend for Gabot. Now they're sliding into the wall, and Nick Pericles is going to lead us to caution. Let's look back at the wreck. Let's look back at what happened to these two drivers who had major jam damage after the first caution. Oh, they just... Oh... Oh, Mason Wood right into the 27, and the tw and yeah, nowhere to go. He was in a tight spot, and 27 spins. That's how he got damage. But what about the t 34? He already had damage before the incident, so something went went wrong er on the start. I think. Oh boy. Yep, Fetty McDowell. McDowell got turned on the middle of this corner, and Jordan Davis was a victim. But that, that did not bring out a yellow, actually. Ne neither of those wrecks actually brought yellow flags, but what did? I? Ooh, Voiles. Oh, Voiles got a bad run off that turn. That's where the smoke came from. Oh, Daniel Voiles, he hit the wall, and he saves the car, but loses a lot of positions. Wow, that is got to wow. Pericles, the race leader, we'll see if anyone's going to take pit stops to fix damage to their cars. And we've already, s and they are, they're going to take pit stops. Everyone's taking a chance, no, no one's taking a chance, I should say. And they're all pitting. 
Oh, Pericles has trouble off pit road. He can't get out. He does get out. Oh, no. This is not good. Luke Walker takes the lead. He was out first on pit stops, and Nick Pericles had to repair some things, unfortunately, and he drops out of the race lead. Still time for these drivers to make an impact. Green flag, and Fetty McDowell is going to have to stay a while on pit road. Oh, whoa! Whoa! I just saw this nine Fitzwater get aggressive. Is he getting aggressive? Look at this. Oh, he just pumped the 14, and now he's going for the race lead. Good job. He's got it. And how about this? Luke Walker second, Leia Walker fourth. Wow. They've never finished together in the top five before in the PCS in a race. Did this happen today, this season? Whoa! Now the Walkers are battling for second. Zach Fitzwater pulls away. We have our caution already. Leia Walker gets second. Luke third. And now Navarro's fourth. And the 14 is fifth. Or maybe not because look at Brandon Nichols going to move. No. Very slow tight down to break there because he has to break. And so he lost the battle. Fitzwater pulls away. The native out of Australia looks to win it for the team and looks to get back into victory lane. It's been a while since he last went to victory lane. So is Leia Walker. Leia is trying to compete for the all-time wins list, but still stuck at 19 wins. And Leia looking for win number 20. She would join Peach, who is the only drivers with 20 wins in the PCS. Fitzwater, though, is trying to break a winless streak, and now the caution's out. We have a couple drivers who wrecked out. That's O'Neill Balvin and Hargel Alonzo. Oh, wow. And look at this. Alonzo hits the wall. Balvin hits him. Oh, right in the stands. Oh, man. He went off the track and into the stands. Oh, that is ugly. And the others are upside down as well. Oh, that is ugly. Wow. Hope those fans are okay. Uh, I've never had an incident involving the fans before. But here's an onboard look of Argel Alonso right in the grandstands. Oh, man. Wow. Again, I hope the fans are okay after that incident with Argel. And here's the spectator view. Breathtaking views of the incident. Wow, that is incredible, a big crash. Wow, it involves the fans too, I hope they're all right. Oh man, that was a scary wreck there. Not for the driver, but for the fans that were in it, that were caught in the middle of it. Wow, they should put like a wall there to protect the drivers and the fans. But man, that was scary. Imagine if there were real fans on the seats. We're going back to green anyway. Halfway through and the walkers look to work together to make this a one-two affair. Not yet anyway. Oh, land Luke spin. The walkers spin out of the track and they're done for the race. And they collect a couple more drivers too. We had Siegel is in. Armando Chazaz. Power Quest is in, and there you see Nick Pericles up in smoke. He was running 10th. Oh, Pericles not going to go back to back today. Wow. Yellow is out. That's not going to... Well, thankfully, they're all right. Hawkins is second. And Fitzwater pulls away a little bit. Brandon Nichols trying to close in for second on the 14. Passing, though, a little impossible on these corners, but they'll have to wait on the final turns to make a pass if he could stay in line with the 14. Jacob Lawler in fourth now, and there you see Kyle Collins in fifth. These turns, man, these they could do a lot of wrecking 
And if they're not careful, disaster could strike. There you see the nine keeping alive, staying alive. Here's the wall. And great run by the nine machine, pulling away for the lead. But the walkers, they had a chance to be having both their drivers on the podium. But it all went away with just one big crash. Both Leia and Luke are out of the race. And man, that's gut-wrenching for TA2 Racing. And here's another look at the wreck. That's a hard hit on Pericles, but he's okay. Right near the same place where Jorge Alonso flipped off the track and actually hurt a couple fans. Wow. Never had a never had a wreck with where the where the the cars landed actually landed in the grandstands, but first times for everything. John Arnold staying out on pit road to take the lead. I don't think pit stops will be a factor. But John Arnold taking a chance. He figures why not? Looks like the nine didn't come out first. Yeah, it didn't come out first, the number nine. Oh man, again the leader's having trouble on pit road. And more drivers were tired because of damage they've suffered in the wrecks. And now we're green. John Arnott has to pit before the green flag. He ran out of gas. It looks like he overest overestimated how much fuel he had left in the tank. And Brandon Nichols has spun on his own. Down turn one. He was the only driver that spun. No caution. Oh no, Breton! Wow! Why, how, how did Connor Breton not turn around and avoid that thing? Wow! Lawler's off the track and Collins is the new leader. Alex, no, 43, Cody Hagen is second. And now Sean Harple's third. Oh, look at Hagen. Ooh, he's got to run off the turn. Here he comes. Can he make a move on the 13? Oh, contact. He won't make contact with the 13. This is gonna get this is gonna be good. If they could keep it under green, we could see be, see be, we could see a battle between these two. Here they come, another braking zone coming up. Straight away, then a downhill straight away and then a braking zone. Down the one corner. Oh, trying to hang on for dear life. Harple can't do it. Now the battle is on. Down turn one. Great. Probably the best passing zone is turn one. They'll be coming uphill again. Here they come. Let's hope these guys don't spin out. So far, oh, Fitzwater, those three involved. And that's going to bring out a yellow flag. Cody and 41 KCZ and looks like the 9 isn't going to win. He is up in smoke. That's it for him in the race. 24 has survived and Collins off the track. Hagen's going for the lead. Cole's trying to nudge him out but Hagen makes the move. Great jump by the 43. He's able to make the move. And now the top two battle for the race lead. Harple just got third from Lawler, and now fifth place is Hawkins. Could Hagen be able to get back to victory lane in the number 43? It's going to be a close battle for the chase after this race. And then they'll head, well, they'll head to Biker Necky up next, and then Rockingham UK, another oval in the World Tour, and... Those ovals are going to be pretty tough. Here they come. Hagen's going to lead us to six laps to go. Under caution for the fourth time today here at Austria. Don't think they'll need to take a pit stop. I think they'll be good to go on fuel for the rest of the way. 16 drivers are left on the track. We're back to green. 
Not going to look back on how they wreck because you know already this is a wreckful track. And you know they were going to happen. And Collins wrecks! Involving most of the field! Oh no! That's going to end the race. That will definitely end the race. The race is over and the caution is out and Hagen's only op opponent is Jacob Lawler. Oh, look at Lawler. He's going to gain up on the 51. Here comes 43. Lawler going to get the lead. Can he get him off the straightaway? He can. Lawler got the lead away from Hagen. Oh, Hagen made one big mistake. It's going to cost him the race lead. Maybe even the win, unless if he can't, if he can pull something up and pull a miracle. Lawler came from fourth on the restart, and Collins wrecked out, allowed him to make a move, and now he's the leader. Lawler, as you recall, he led a couple. He led. He led before the crash happened in his Storo, and then the crash changed the outcome. He was bumped out of the win. And Lawler hopes that this time it won't happen again. And I'm hoping again that we won't have another crash so that the race could have restarted again. And, well, we have to do another restart like we did in Estoril. Lawler survives. Three to go. He leads. But can he stay out to win? Here we go. The moment of truth. Oh, uh, no. Lawler's not the leader. They had a pit. LaPlante's the leader. Austin LaPlante leads. They had to take a pit stop to save fuel. And now Austin LaPlante, he's just a lap away from the win. Are you kidding me? Wow. Five drivers stayed out. LaPlante is out of gas. LaPlante is out of gas. Now we'll see if John Arnott can stay alive. Oh, LaPlante was the leader when the others pitted, but LaPlante just didn't have enough in his tank. He's out of gas, but will John Arnott have enough on his tank to win? It would be our third first-time winner this season. And what a way if the 24 could win. John Arnott would be a lucky man. Here they come off final turn down pit road. Will he have to pit? No, he's not. And coming off the final turn, John Arnott will be a first-time winner here at Austria. John Arnott, can you believe it? has won this race and his first career Pokemon Cup Series win. Unbelievable, in spectacular fashion, he does it. John Arnott becomes a PCS winner here at, at Austria. And it was all on pit strategy. At the end, it looked like Lawler was gonna pull away to win, but he had a pit and finished in fifth. And as for LaPlante, he came home 12th. But it could have been a win if he had saved enough gas and just won the race. And here's the rest of the results from Austria. We'll see you guys at Latvia as John Arnott becomes a first time winner here at the Red Bull Ring. And we'll see you guys as we continue World Tour 17 at Biker Necky in Latvia. Things are going to get pretty dicey from here on out. And well, we hope you'll join us there. Um, at Biker Necky. So we'll see you there. John Arnott, the winner, here at Latvia, at Austria. See you guys later.